So, a lot of you have been asking, and you're probably wondering what's going on right now. Well, a lot of you have been asking me to do a tutorial on Harry Potter and how to draw him. There are many ways to draw Harry Potter, whether you're looking at the cover of a book or you're looking at just another version on how to draw Harry. Or you just draw it in your own style. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to do Harry Potter in my own Disney style. That's how I'm going to teach you today. So I had to draw it out first for me to look at so I could teach you guys. Now what you're going to draw is not going to look exactly like this. It's always going to look different, but I'm going to teach you how I drew this particular Harry. Let's get started. So before we get started, what I'd advise for you guys to do, you could do this long ways or, you know, hot dog hamburger ways. I would do the hamburger ways. Let me zoom out so you can see the shape. So I would do hamburger ways, that way you could put Harry in the middle, Ron on one side and Hermione on the other. So that way Harry's the main focus and you got Ron and Hermione because by the end of this series, it's a three part series, by the end you're going to have the, th the ultimate trio right here. So that way we have like an overall huge picture that you're building up to. So I'm going to start with giving the forehead line, bring down the side. Face, bring on this side, and then the jawline, chin area, and then I'm going to determine the middle of the face by giving that middle line, and then the eye line kind of towards the top just a little bit, because Harry's forehead is mostly covered with his hair. So let's start with the eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this eye over here. It's going to be a little bit close to the edge. Still in an almond shape, and then I'm gonna get a little bit close to this one. Go ahead and roughly place this one. So we're seeing more of this side of his face as opposed to this side. So I'm gonna, round, I'm gonna go ahead and round this down. After I make out the eyes, what I'd like to do is go ahead and place the nose down here. His eyebrows, so his one eyebrow leads down into his nose ridge. So this one, so he's going to have a little bit of an attitude. So I'm going to curve this one downwards and then I'm going to jump over here. Kind of lightly, make sure it's on the same level the eyebrows are. So he has a little bit of a smirk going on because Harry's awesome. And I'm just going to go ahead and thicken up this one. And this one's going to go off the side of his forehead. And this one as well, it's just going to be nice and thick. This one going, it's going to go out and then out this way. So it goes in towards his eye and then out a little bit. Bring this down. I'm going to give him a little bit of a nostril right here. And make sure it's nice and rounded because he has a rounded nose. He has a he has a slightly larger nose and it's rounded off at the tip. And so we have a nostril and then we have the side of the nose. So we'll shape up his face in just a little bit. What I like to do is go ahead and give him his pupil iris area. So I'm going to go ahead and make that area right here kind of towards the corner. Still a little bit of white space. Jump over here, do the exact same thing, or it's going to be more towards the middle of the eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and give a little bit of a shine right here, not too big, and then a shine right here. And I'm going to give him his pupil. I'm going to lightly shade back in that wonderful eyebrow because he does, Daniel Radcliffe does have very thick eyebrows. Alright, so let's shape up the eyelash line just a little bit, make this a little bit more flowing. I still like the shape of the eyes. 
like a little bit of an eyelid right here and a little bit of an eyelid right there and here and I'd like to go ahead and do a little bit of that like a little bit of a wrinkle of an eyebrow mark right there because you have to do all of this before you do the glasses because the glasses are going to overlap to make I know they're not as big but I'm just going to go ahead and round off the entire eye just because it's a characterization because without Harry's round glasses we wouldn't have Harry so it's going to go a little bit below his eye just a good round circle it's got his whole eye I'm going to bring this out just a little bit more nose ridge piece so I'm going to connect to all the way so this would just represent like his entire nose ridge and then I'm going to build off the side right here and it's going to go off the side of his face and it's more of an oval since we're seeing more of this side than opposed to this side draw out the little, I don't know what this is called, but it's like connecting to the actual piece before we go ahead and connect the rest of it. We need to go ahead and draw his ear. Uh, Harry does have rather large ears, it's adorable, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw off his ear and then that will go diagonal to where it's behind his ear. Go ahead and shape up his face a little bit more so I want to round off his forehead this is gonna go outwards and then it goes in towards his eye bring out his forehead inwards bring this out just a little bit give him more of that cheekbone we're gonna give it more of a stronger jaw and this is the Order of the Phoenix Harry that I'm going off of, that that age. So, yeah, not too young and not, not too old. He's not that old, but this is the uh, Order of the Phoenix is my favorite Daniel Radcliffe look for Harry. So I'm gonna round off his chin. And we're gonna go to his ear, bring down that jawline, and connect to his chin. So we still have a little bit of my middle guideline still left, that's just to show me where to place the lips. So he has very, fairly thin lips. So I'm going to go ahead and make that thin line, curve up that smile, not smiling, I mean not no teeth showing, so it's easy. So we have that smile line goes upwards and I'm gonna go ahead and give him a dimple and then he has I don't know what that's called I guess that's a dimple too but he always has like this little piece right here every time he smiles you can see it I think it's a dimple I don't know <laughs> and then I'm gonna go underneath give him more of a fuller lip a fuller bottom lip that is after that I just want to give a little bit he has a more of a defined chin so I'm gonna lightly put like that little bit of a mark on his chin and then I want to go ahead and start making his neck so we're gonna start with his Adam's apple and it's gonna go out and then in and I'm gonna jump back here around this downward go out just a little bit so it's gonna go down and then I'm gonna go off to the side right here and kind of round this downward so I'm gonna round this down back of the neck. I want to jump back to his ear and go ahead and give him those two little marks to define his ear a little bit. Get that ear lobe. I always part his hair this way and then he's going this way because I want to leave this spot open for his scar. So always keep that in mind when you're drawing Harry. So I'm going to start this way with a chunk of hair going across his forehead and then I want to go this way with a chunk of hair kind of going off to the side just a little bit. So we have a chunk going this way and a chunk going this way. So I'm going to jump on top of this section of hair. I'm going to go upwards and I'm going to bring up this side. And I'm going to bring this side. 
So I'm going to bring up this piece and then bring up this piece going downwards and this piece going downwards. I'm going to have a piece going out this way. So I'm going to make one section of hair going out this way and one section of hair going out this way. And then I'm going to jump back here. Start rounding this downwards and into his neck. So I'm going to go ahead and make like that back part that we can't see. And bring this down and bring out a couple of pieces over here. A little bit of a hairy piece, a little bit of a hairy piece. A little bit of hair piece here. And then the hair just kind of like chop it up. So I'm gonna bring out some this way, and bring out some this way, and then go back behind his neck and bring that out. I'm just gonna go ahead and divide this up into sections. So this section, this way, this part should go this way. And some parts going down this way. chop up this section of hair bring up this section after this after his hair what the most important part is where we left that big spot his scar his scar goes down this way and then this way perfect little lightning bolt. So I'm going to round off this part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back behind here. And we're going to bring out this side of his collar of his shirt so it's going to go up and then down. The middle of his tie, which is just an upside down rounded off triangle, so it's going to just go right on top. And then the other part of his collar is going to come out around the side on top of here. And then go up and bring down this side. And then after the tie, we're going to go down at the bottom of the tie, bring out each side. And then I'm going to go underneath the collar, round off that v-neck of his vest, and we're going to chop off the tie. Back behind here, and give the top part of his hood. So I'm bring on this little section, and then this little section. And then his hood's going to actually chop off the side of his collar, and then it's just going to go downwards. And it's just going to be a section here. Bring this down and then connect. Off to this side and draw this part of his hood. And this part's going to start going downwards. But we're going to eventually, we're not even going to see this because we're going to put his hand right here holding his wand. And I'm just going to go ahead and divide up this part of his hood just a little bit more. Bring it down. And then we're going to bring out his shoulder. I'm just going to roughly draw out the hand. So I'm going to make the entirety of his fingers. So this is like me drawing out his fingers and they're all curled around the hand. And here's the bottom of his hand. So this is one part and then here's the other. And his thumb is actually going to go up and over this way. So it's going to be behind the wand. So we made this part. Kind of looks like a Lego hand right now. So it's folded over and then the bottom of his hand and his thumb is going to be back behind the wand. So let's draw the wand first. Go through to the, close to the bottom, round off the bottom, go up, and it's a tall wand so I'm going to make it go all the way up into his hair. Round it off and it's kind of in his hair so it's right next to his face. So the top finger is going to be like this, where it's going to go, we're going to start with the top, we're going to round off this top, round off his pointer finger, it's going to go in, 
back into his hand. And we're going to jump down just a little bit more and start with his middle finger. So we have a little bit of a space right here, so this one's going to be going inwards, and this one will be going like this. So we have the middle finger, now we're going to make his ring finger right alongside of that. Bring this up, and then down into his knuckles, so this is like the knuckle area. A little bit of a knuckle area here, and then it goes inwards to here. So we have his ring finger overlapping his middle finger just a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and just draw the pinky finger, which is going to be right along, overlapping the ring finger a little bit. Round up this part, bring it down. This is actually going to go flat here, round this down, this pinky is going to go right here like it's curled inwards. And then for his thumb, it's going to be right up underneath the pointer finger. So you see what it looks like when all the guidelines are cleared up. So we have a little bit of space here and how all the fingers are flowing into each other and we see his thumb back here. So let's give a little bit more characterization to Harry's wand. So it's like, it's kind of choppy like a piece of wood at the top. And at the bottom, it looks like another acorn. So it looks like an acorn um, top. Bit raggedy at the bottom and then we have like there it I mean all wands are basically sticks or twigs not really sticks or twigs it just looks like a limb off a tree but you want to kind of divide up this part from here to there make sure you just make it nice and skinny as it gets to the top of the wand We're going to go underneath his hand. And so we see a little bit of, a ri of his wrist. So this is, this is his wrist right here. And we're going to we're going to see his actual sleeve to his cloak. And it's just going to go down side. This one's going to go in and just a little bit of overlapping of the sleeve. And then we have the rest of his shoulder that's off to the side over here. And this part underneath his collar, we, are, we still see a little bit of his cloak. And then right here, a lot on his vest alongside the v-neck you're gonna go up and line that v-neck and then you're gonna go in the middle and make this darker because this is the maroon and what's on top is gold on his vest and then for the stripes on his tie stripes are gonna go this way first so this is maroon maroon and then the stripes will go this way is gold. So let's look at some shading. I'm actually going to go underneath Harry's nose first and I'm going to shade underneath his nose. And I'm going to actually go and make this a little bit darker on this side. And I'm going to lightly shade over here. I'm going to make sure this lip line is flowing into each other. Lightly shade here, lightly shade here. Just make sure all your lines are nice and flowing. I'm going to shade a little bit underneath his eyebrow. I did 
definitely want to shade underneath his chin and on his neck. I want to shade underneath his hand and I want to shade these parts of his fingers since they're curled in around the wand and we're seeing the light source is hitting his the top of his fingers more. And don't forget this section right here alongside of his ear. It's not exactly a sideburn but it's definitely a little bit of hair growing down alongside of his ear. There is how to draw Mr. Harry Potter in my own style. Uh, I know there are so many different ways to draw Harry Potter, but this is just, this is done in my style because a lot of you have been asking whether it's like you wanted it, I don't know. You just wanted it in different ways and you wanted me to draw Harry Potter, so here he is. So yeah, leave in the comments down below if you're interested in making Hermione on one side and Ron on the other. That way we have the trio together and that way I keep I can teach you how to draw both of the both of the other characters in my own style and then that way they're like building off of Harry on each side and then you'll have a trio. But yes, leave in the comments put down below if you're excited about this series, if you think it's fun, if you want me to keep going. But yeah, I will see you all later with a really fun, awesome Saturday video. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it and I really hope you guys will check it out because it is a collab with another amazing Disney person. So yes, I'm very excited about Saturday. I'll see you all later. Bye! Bye!